bro, up a weekend. I'm tired, bro. Alright, so guys, if you guys are heading for a long journey, make sure you check your tire pressure. Cool t shirt, bro. Back to the new episode and today we are here at EZS Motorsports. Here is located in Para Ipo. So what we're doing, let's check it out. Alright, let's check it out what we're gonna do with the 335i U92. Okay, so we're here at EZS Motorsport or as we call it East Motorsport. So we're here with the manager. Hi. Mr. Manager. Hi. Mr. Faisal. So, Mr. Yeah. Salam, <laughs> so Mr. Faisal is uh, manager for East Motorsport yes and of if you guys want to know this guy <laughs> has a lot of motorsport background oh, yeah. he's a rally driver he's a stunt driver he can drift same as Bullseye. he can say <laughs> it but I cannot rally <laughs> I mean like I haven't tried rally I wish to learn from this guy and he no did problem. Take it. No yeah so introduce yourself bro Hi, I'm Faizal Lang, as, yeah. uh, as I said just now. Yeah. So I'm manager yeah. here in EZS Motorsport. And my boss is, is Iskandar. So everyone know, EZS, EZS Motorsport is actually on the Mini Cooper, as you see. Mm. Lots of Mini Cooper here. All models as here. Mm. So, yep, if you guys are Mini Cooper owner, or want to be Mini Cooper owner, just come and see us. Alright. <laughs> so, where are you located, bro? Uh, Tambun, Ipoh. So basically, just opposite of uh, Sunway Lost World. Ah, okay. So, easy location. Easy. All right, so here uh, they are specialists, uh, right. specialized in uh, Mini, Mini Cooper, Cooper. Yep. Uh, but of course they do other cars. Uh, as sure. you know, we are sending our, me and Shafiq is sending our yes. uh, BMW to do some one-up blasting. So share some of your background bro as a motorsport enthusiast. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, topic. <laughs> yeah, out of topic. <laughs> so as I said just now, I love about racing, so yeah. I love about driving. Mm. So I started uh, grassroots racing, Jim Gymkhana, Time Attack, and then go to circuit racing right. and then getting serious on the rally driving mm. since 2008 even right. second so I started rally driving uh, through the what TV show right. uh, TV. reality TV show nice. called Zero to Hero so I'm the first winner the first season winner nice. so uh, then, yeah. then after that since that since 2008 2009 and getting serious until now you got offer <laughs> yeah. so yeah as you, as you know just now uh, currently we have no racing yes. so last race is uh, last year of America mm. MSF Endurance so mm. rally my last rally is uh, 2008 you know was taken mm. uh, December 2008 so I'm champion on the rally Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah so, uh, so getting forward so right. hopefully COVID-19 go away yeah. so we can race again so I heard <laughs> East Motorsport is building a project car yeah. so that <laughs> Faisal is going to pilot yep. the, the car yep. and he's yep. going to race yep. in MSF, right? Correct. The special project, uh, we, we're doing a R50 Mini Cooper but install K24 engine. Right. So there will be a monster, monster, monster yes. Mini Cooper. So we're looking forward on that. All right. So I heard uh, almost done. The engine, the engine transplant almost done. Nice. So we're going testing. But right. yeah. Covid nineteen, we can do anything. MCO. So wait after the MCO. Okay, so are you gonna do turbo charge or NA? Uh, NA. 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 Four wheel drive or two wheel? Two wheel drive. Two wheel drive. Nice. Yes. <laughs> okay, so Faisal, remember that name Faisal, <laughs> and there's another Faisal. Yeah. That's his brother. Don't yeah. Don't only go. one letter different. <laughs> yeah. Only one letter. <laughs> only one letter. So this is the younger, younger brother. brother. Yeah. And his elder brother is Faisal, yeah. also a motorsport uh, guy. He's, he's a legend. Yeah, he's a legend. <laughs> he's he's legend. definitely a legend. You, you, I mean, Malaysian guys uh, in, mo in motorsport should know Faisal Alang. And of course, Faisal in rally. Yeah. But Faisal Alang will be competing against his brother. That will yes, be interesting. Yes, that yeah. will be hot topic. Hot topic, <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know, brothers in motorsports going each other, you know, the, you know when they are kids, they fight and then now they are fighting. So the title on MSI website is uh, Undertaker vs. Skid. Round 1. Fight! Oh. <laughs> so they're looking forward to that. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we will definitely will do some yep. coverage on that yep. uh, once the car is ready and when they're, do, they're, when they're doing testing in Sepang. Yep. And we'll definitely cover that. Alright guys. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, Faisal. 
All right, guys, so we're gonna perform walnut blasting on my car and also Shafiq's car. So the difference is uh, Shafiq's car is about 100,000 kilometers already done on the engine and mine is about 160-ish. Bro, what's your mileage on your car? 78. Oh, sorry, 78,000. Okay, so we can see a difference. 78,000 mileage and 160-ish thousand mileage. So we'll check it out how dirty it is in the uh, intake area. As you guys know, direct injections, they tend to build up carbon on the intake side. So that's why walnut blasting is highly recommended if you've done uh, lots of mileage on the cars. Uh, it's going to build up carbon on the intake side and that causes uh, maybe performance loss. So we, will, we shall see. Uh, base dyno, we did an LSF. Uh, what's your horsepower bro? 35, 35, 35, 357 and we lost power. Really? Because mine is about the same right? More or less. Yeah, more or less. We are about 360 both of us. So let's see if it does make any difference after the worn up blasting. Will it increase power or will it not? Yeah, okay, so the guys is already preparing to start the process. Huh? Bro, Yo. you gonna send your car for car wash first or what? Car wash, yeah, need pass through, baru then. Di mesin, apa ni? Vacuum yang dalam dalam. Oh, ni vacuum mesin. No guys, no. That's a mistake. <laughs> look, look like vacuum. Yeah. But this is the walnut plastic machine. Oh, this is the machine. Yeah, these are the machines, sir. Right. So the walnut is in here. The walnut is in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the function same like vacuum. Okay. Uh, they blow the. Have you seen the sand blasting? Yes. Almost, almost the same. Almost the same. Almost the same. It's the walnut, sir. It's not a sand. It's got a ah. sample the walnut, sir. Uh, yeah. You can open it. Let's check it out. Some sample. So, oh. that, so that's the walnut. That's going to be blasted in the intake manifold area. You can see, bro. Walnut. <laughs> walnut. Yeah, walnut. So basically, what they're going to do is they're going to remove the intake side. The intake manifold is going to come off. And then that's where you have access into the intake valve area which that's where all the uh, carbon is going to build up the reason being it's a direct injection uh, the injectors is directly sprayed to the pistons instead of the normal port injection where it's at the there's a fuel rail there's also a, a, what do you call these injectors mounted on the intake manifold rather than directly to the piston so that's that's why the carbon build up doesn't build as much in the uh, uh, port inject injection engines compared to the direct injections. So Shafiq, please share some info about your ride. Uh, E93. 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 335i. 335i. And 54. Yeah. So what's the difference 92 and 93? It's just one, one number difference. Mm, convertible? Coupe. Ah, so the, the roof can go off. I just realized. <laughs> ah, okay. So 93 and 92, they look similar. Alright? But the difference is that roof and can be detached. And yeah, and the taillight, some minor taillight difference, and the trunk especially. But I believe the coupe is nicer. <laughs> <laughs> but his coupe is slower. <laughs> are you sure, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we should start, we should do some uh, hundred meter drag maybe hundred meter. Okay, so the coupe is the ninety two. The convertible is the ninety three. So that's the difference. Why is it ninety two and ninety three? So performance wise, is the same. Uh, factory is the same. They all with the Any same. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the same engine. NT fifty four six speed gearbox. Both are running the six speed gearbox automatic. But the difference is the 93 is heavier, heavier by 200 kilogram. Reason being is because of the convertible oh, roof. Uh, he has the motor, is the device that, that runs the, the convertible. So that is the reason why it's heavier. Uh, so what, what mods have you done on your car, bro? FBO, bro. FBO. So another car that is similar to my build, full ball ons. We have the uh, dual air filter open port we have the charge pipe basically Shafiq is the guy helping me out buying the parts big thanks to this guy Shafiq he ordered the charge pipe the down pipe the intercooler this guy did it for me so 
big thanks to him. If not, I wouldn't have time to do it. Uh, and other than that, what else? But the rest is talk, right? Two step. Call the ah. uh, spark plug in. Okay, he's running the two step colder spark plugs. Uh, performance coil. Performance coils. And we'll check it out. That's the only difference with my car. Other than that, the rest is stock and it's about 360 horsepower. And I have a modified outlet for turbo. Right, uh, yes. But his have stock. Uh, two inch intake already. Yes. Uh, buy one is still stock. But two is intake. What do you mean? But, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay. <laughs> you have this one. <laughs> That's I was, one oh, okay. So guys, when I mentioned the dual intake cone, this is it. So this is the silicon dual intake. So why is this important? It's because the original one is plastic, and it's pressed. It's like that. It's like really pressed, and it's smaller. So, the air that comes in into the turbo is literally restricted by the original pipe. So, that's why you need to change those so that the turbo has, uh, gets all the air that it needs to, to produce power. Okay, one thing about the N54 engine, right? At the turbo side, the outlet pipe, due to the steering rack column, factory decided to squeeze to squeeze the pipe so the original one that, which i'm running still on my car is squeeze the reason but uh, the reason being is to clear the steering column but shafiq's car has done it already it's already oversized and it doesn't touches the steering column so it's fine so i'm going to do that next once i do a, a maintenance on it and that will actually help the turbo to spool faster because of the flow uh, five years training okay. in uh, Serbia. Serbia. <laughs> oh. Okay, so as you can see, after removing removing the cover, that's what it looks like. So that's the coil, and that's the injectors, the direct injection. So the best injectors for N54 is the Inject 12. Index 12. Okay, I've got an index 10 injectors. Shafiq just, uh, the, the number is right behind here, so you gotta use a flashlight to see it. So you can see it now, but it's an index 10. Alright, guys, so now we saw a problem with my car. We've got a Vanos solenoid that's uh, the sensor, that the fault code has keep popping up and apparently that's where it's located the top one is the intake solenoid and the bottom one is the exhaust solenoid for the vanos so apparently based on the videos that we saw online before changing it try to clean it up so we're gonna clean it up it looks pretty dirty down here so that could be the reason why uh, the exhaust vanos sensor or solenoid keeps popping out okay this is shafix's car so we removed the cover, now you can see the performance coil that he's using. It's red color, it's different than mine. Mine is stock. Mine is Delphi. Yeah, hey mine, no, your, ah, Delphi cool. yeah mine is Delphi. Again, it's borrowed by a friend. Uh, I wish borrowed me the coils. I wish is also from our N54 slash Five Brothers uh, member. He borrowed me his Delphi coils. Running perfect ever since. And Shafiq's running these coils it looks like a stock one but it's red in color and can't Consider remember it's aftermarket yeah it's aftermarket performance, uh, performance. performance parts for the n54 engine okay so they remove <laughs> the intake manifold let's check it out okay now you can't see anything let me on the flash but it looks <laughs> it looks like super black <laughs> super black can't see shit. Let me open the flash. Hang on, guys. 